Hello, Scorpio. This is your February 15th to February 28th, 2017 read. I'm going to say 1917. Yeah, okay. Uh, for the main read, I'm using the Bonfire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, Gabby. Okay. Newer deck I just got. Very much love it. For the support cards, I'm using the Secret Language of Color cards by Inna Seagal. Uh, I think it's Angel Souls 444. Angel, Angel Souls is the channel I first saw those on, and I just thought they were really cool. And I found in certain instances, they're very powerful. Uh, the more I use them, the more I like them, so we're going to throw those in there. Alright, as usual, I have already shuffled the deck. Um, looking pretty good. I'm just there's an interesting situation here. I almost feel like eh, I'll leave that for right now. It has some beautiful color colors with these color cards, which I'll show you here. Um, your overall energy, I think, is interesting. Um, I feel like the overall energy is continuing on. Um, I don't want to say it's effortless, but like almost like autopilot, getting things done, continuing on. I feel like this effort is a continuation of um, previous previous things. Like things are still moving forward. Um, I feel like you have a busy life, or things are busy, but they're continuing on through this. Um, I don't feel like it's wiping you out, um, but I do feel like you're constantly moving, and constantly going. I feel like there's a constant go-go energy. Um, getting things done, stable home life, stable, keeping things at home going and up to par, keeping things going at work. I feel like everything's balancing. Like, I don't feel like anything is pulling ahead of anything else, but I feel like everything is pretty busy and you're keeping everything going. And it's like from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, you're, there's something you're doing. Um, keeping things going, keeping things afloat to your standard of living. Okay. Now this seems to go through this whole time frame, and I don't feel like it's bothersome. I feel like it's kind of like, just kind of go, go, go. Like this time frame might go by pretty quickly. Okay. Yes. Now, when I'm getting this go, go energy that constantly going, I think part of that is um, taking care of yourself and I am really getting like a health thing here where you're doing well and you're taking, there's certain things you're doing for yourself health wise. Um, some of you are doing like the workout thing. Others of you are preparing food. Um, some others are, um, I feel like some of you have like quit smoking or something like that, or you're not partaking in certain things like alcohol as much or something. You're like, you're doing a health, I feel like this is a healthy change. Um, it says strengthen your body. Like I'm feeling like you're going through some healthy changes and you're going forward and you're feeling you're feeling good. I feel like you might be some of you might be um uh upgrading your wardrobe or something, you know, taking time for yourself, you know, you might have some extra cash from the season and you're just getting yourself a couple nice articles and you feel good about it and they're good articles. I like you look you look good. But I feel like it's you're taking care of your mind as well as your body. Like I feel like for some of you it might be just doing things that are uh, rejuvenating you or making you feel making you feel good and that are very good very good things um, before before you hit this spot because we're kind of like this is already in this time frame something bothered you like when I see this um, the emerald and it says calm your body and calm your mind body and soul I feel like um, a lot of times green for me anyway is a healing energy um, that's how I relate to it. But I feel like in this case, something came into your forefront where it made you nervous or you didn't like something. And you decided that you were going to improve your situation. And this is why, whether you're working out, whether you're changing your eating habits, your diet, however that is, uh, or if you're just getting yourself something to make yourself feel... Like, I feel like you're taking care of yourself better. Like, some people are buying clothes, but it's because... Your clothes are either worn out or you just don't feel like they look good. 
to your level that you they that they should like they're they're not to the like they're a little they're a little less than what you prefer so you buy yourself a couple articles of clothing and it really helps you helps you it makes you feel good and i feel like something's happened here that makes you feel like that's necessary or that something's off off balance or you deserve to have a little more or you need to take care of yourself a little better i don't feel like there's any like all right i'm not sure it depends on the person but um Something has brought this to your forefront. Some of you have like had an ex a situation where it really brought to the forefront that life is short, and um, if you want to enjoy it, you need to keep yourself together so you can enjoy it to its fullest and enjoy the people around you. Okay. This is also, I feel like this is also with this yellow down here, because this is in the environment, this yellow card. It says purify your body, which is an environmental. So I feel like you're not the only one feeling this way, um, I'm not sure if there's anybody else also doing what you're doing. I feel like there's talk around you about that, but you're actually taking action on it. And that's how we're going into this time frame. Alright, this is, it's very, very, I like how this is looking because it seems here in the beginning it could go either way, but I'm telling you, what I'm seeing, it's going well. Um, because it seems like in the beginning you're concentrating and taking care of yourself. Because something has like thrown you off a little bit. And then in the next line here of succession, you have the Ace of Swords, which is kind of the waking up, moving forward. Uh, I feel like it's the realization of what's happening um, and the, the effect you're having on it, and it's a positive effect. I also feel like it's the effect you're having on others. You're moving forward. You're like I feel like you start whatever it is you start. Like if it's if it's a workout or if you're eating better and you're preparing better foods. Uh, more healthy foods for your lifestyle. Um, if you're getting involved with something, some of you, it's a change of how you speak or what you speak about. Some people are becoming more um, more open with their feelings and being a little bit more vulnerable, which is helping them. It's a very healthy feeling. Whatever it is, it's like this new awakening is working for you is working for you is working is working for you um and it's it's the, one of the reasons it feels so good is because around you right below you have the empress which this is like i don't know if you can see her she's very beautiful very colorful i feel like um i'm feeling like a lot of positive energy is being um is being felt uh i feel like a lot of positive energy is going around like Nourish your body and soul chocolate. Like, it's a lot of body and soul stuff going on here. It's a lot... A lot of you, I feel like you're doing workouts or healthy eating. But it's something that's making you... Making a difference in your life. Making you feel better. Moving you in a good direction. For some of you, it is communication and how you're communicating and who you're communicating with. Um, that's the difference. So, especially with a general read. Think of it for your situation. It's definitely an improvement to your life and making you feel better. This is inspiring people. I feel like the Empress, like, you are really, like, pulling somebody in. I feel like um, if you're not in a relationship at this point, you're attracting someone. If you are in a relationship, you're, like, you're like charging that. Like, it's it's bringing things forward. Like, you're, you're inspiring them. They want to be with you more. It's kind of um, a rekindling. Maybe the fire wasn't out, but it's a lot brighter now at the moment. <laughs> like, it's... I think you get what I mean. Okay. So you're very much, you're inspiring people. You're inspiring, I think, I feel like you're inspiring people, but the partner aspect, you're either pulling in a partner if you're single or if you're with somebody, uh, you're really like, you know, you're getting them going. You're turning them on, something. Something's going good there. That's just, it's a good connection. There's a lot going on there that's very good. Um, this, that was in the environment. This is kind of <laughs> going up into your mental state. You got one of the, my favorite cards for the color deck. It's very pretty in my opinion too. It's called Cherry Live an Extraordinary Life. Um, and I'm showing you this one first before I show you the card it's connected to because this is this is like things are going your way. You're loving life. You're feeling very joyful, thankful, happy about what, what's happening. Like this is where I want to be type feeling. Um, even if you're like starting out on this journey, it feels really good and you feel like where I am now is great, and I'm going better places. Like, it's going well. Uh, the Two of Cups down here, this is, again, why I'm feeling that, like, pa partner situation. In some instances, this is just a close relationship, so maybe you and your best friend are getting closer together because 
you're working out together, you're cooking together, you're doing something together that's improving both your lives. Uh, I really feel there's a lot, for most of you, it's a relationship re relationship situation, but there are definite people out there that this is going to like uh, mirror like a best friend relationship or a close family relationship, some type of close relationship where your life and their life are improving obvious, uh, quite obviously, and you're very excited and happy about that. You're seeing more opportunities, more things coming in the future, more doors opening because of this. You're very excited. I feel the support around you. This is the environment card right below the two of cups. Like the other person is like changing direction. Like I don't feel like the other person was as on board, but the closer, like I feel like they might've been going along with it, but when they get closer to you and talk with you more, I feel like you're inspiring them to, like the farther we go as we're moving out of February, even though they might've been on board and it seemed fun and they seemed like they were, they seemed like they were in all in to begin with. Like, they're getting really charged and really excited. Like, you're really sparking excitement, and you're making, not making them, but you're making them want to do things more like you, or like they have more creative ideas than things becoming better. Like, I feel like there's a lot of, this is like, when I see the magician, especially in the environment, um, it's either affecting you or you're affecting them. And the way this is going in the previous part of this reading, I really feel like you're affecting them. And you're like reminding them of everything they can, they could do. You're like, I feel like you're empowering them and maybe giving them advice. Like you can do whatever you want. You know, this door is open, that door is open. What do you want? And then they're like, well, I really like to snowboard just for argument's sake. And you're like, well, why can't you? And they're like, well, I don't know. Then, and you're like, well, let's do it then. I must feel like you're helping them in the sense of like you're a supportive player. Like they want to do something and you're like, I'm open to that. Let's do it. And they're like, oh, okay. And they and you go forward in that direction. Okay, um, I think I'm like dragging it. Yeah, it's only 12 minutes. Um, amazingly, I think the last two were like 20. <laughs> um, this is kind of like to the point. I think we're good. I feel like you're busy through this whole situation though. And it's almost like from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, uh, you're busy, constantly busy, but I'm, I'm not feeling like a drawn down energy about it. I'm feeling like one of the reasons you're constantly busy is because you, you're getting inspired and you want this and you want to do that. It's kind of like um, you want to do more. There's things you want and it's just kind of moving you forward on its own. It's kind of, it kind of has an autopilot feel to it. Like you're deciding what you want to do and you're going forward, but the energy that conti continuously moves is almost feeling like it's on autopilot. Like you're just kind of one to the next, one to the next, one to the next. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to feel worn out, but I feel like you want to do what you're doing. Um, I'm getting the feel also that like if you wanted to slow down or take a break, it's completely up to you and you could do so. I just kind of feel like you don't want to. So some of you may have this little lull or you're kind of tired and you're just like, well, I'm going to need a break, but let me just do this. Wait, let me do that too. Okay, I'm going to do this. And like... Next thing you know, it's like time to go to bed. You go to bed and you're like, oh, I'll, I'll take a break tomorrow. You, and then the next day you do the same thing. Like even if you're, you're telling yourself you want a break, I feel like you're not. <laughs> I feel like because it's like I'll take a break after I do these three things. And then those three things turn into something else. And before you know it, you are ready to go to bed and you're going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. That's the uh, February 15th to 20th read. If you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.